Killer Vault Bikes, welcome to the YouTube channel. Today, we're not actually going to build something, we're going to repair something. So, let's do this, watch this space. Right, so, today, what we've got here is this um, electric scooter, and basically, this is the problem. I'm going to hold the throttle on fully, zoom into the wheel, and we'll see what's going on. I'm still holding the throttle, bear in mind. Off the throttle, on the throttle. So what I'd like you to notice that is that the wheel not only wasn't spinning at a continuous rate, it was very noisy, and with the throttle still fully held, it just stopped spinning of its own accord. For me, well, through it personal experience, I think it's going to be a hall sensor issue. So now we're going to show you how we test for a hall sensor and then how we replace a hall sensor. So what we've got here is a hall phase tester. Well, what's going to happen is, um, well, what should happen is we should see each and every, these are the three individual hall sensors and we should see them light up in a sequence. So we're going to plug this into the motor. We can see we've got two lit up. I'm just going to move it slightly. And the green and the yellow hall sensor is responding, but there's nothing from the blue. So now this can only be one of two things. Either there's a short in the wire from here to the motor, or the blue hall sensor is actually damaged. So now we're going to find that out. So inside the motor, we tested all three of the hall sensors and the blue sensor had failed. So what we've done is we've desoldered the old sensor and we've replaced it with a new sensor. As you can see, look, red legs, red legs, black. So that's the sensor that we've replaced. We're going to put it back together now and test it. There was two possible causes for this uh, blue hall sensor not lighting up and that would have been the broken wire which there was some tape around this section of the wire or a failed hall sensor. This actually happened to have both. It had, a f it had broken wires but once we connected them the, br the broken wires had shorted one of the hall sensors. So with all of that repaired it's all ready to go back together and get tested. Right, so as you can see, the blue hall sensor is now working. Before, we only had green and yellow. Now when we're moving the scooter forward and backwards, because we've replaced the blue hall sensor, it's now working. So now we're gonna plug it into the, back into the controller, and we're gonna test it actually on the bike to see what the difference is in sound and running. So as you can hear and probably see, with the hall sensors all responding, the motor is acting very differently. It's a lot quieter and it's not fluctuating in speed. It maintains a continuous speed when the throttle's held down. Just to summarise what's gone on, it's Friday afternoon, we're enjoying some sweets, we're getting ready to go home. But on this scooter repair, we had to A, repair the motor wires as they was damaged and we had to B, replace one of the hall sensors. The reason we wanted to show you this video today is because it's a service that we offer on our website and from our workshop. If you have a motor that needs a hall sensor replacing or has a broken wire or has any other types of issues and needs rebuilding, you can either send it in to us or you can visit us in our Manchester workshop. So give us a shout, let us know what's good. Enjoy your weekend, KV gang.